everyone, Vito is afraid to back again with some what's on deck. And let's see what's going on in the world of point guards. There's a lot to talk about. Let's see. I, I don't know what's really what's going on with Kickstarter. So let's have a look. And I decided to, uh, let's do this. I can get my reaction to what is the newest stuff here. And, and, how exciting. First of all, we got the Eclipse Originals by Ethan Ricketts. I was going to say Ethan for some reason. 13% funded, 34 days to go. Looks a little bit underwhelming. Oh, I think I've seen this one on uh, Instagram. I know exactly what it is. 12,000 bucks Australian. It's not going to fund. This is the Ace of Spades. It's very underwhelming, in my opinion. 15 bucks Australian on the early bird for a deck. Day one. And apparently it's still available. <laughs> so much for day one. Uh, retail value 20 bucks. For that. For this. I think you're out of your mind. Unless it's 20 bucks Australian. <laughs> um, which is still kind of ridiculous. Regular price is 17 bucks Australian. By the way, it's 15 bucks Canadian. 14 on the early bird, big difference. Uh, premium custom point guards that catch the eye without drawing too much attention. They don't really catch my eye. <laughs> um, there's stretch goals for embossed tuck cases. And an option to buy uncut seats. And these are the faces, they are Basically Arco. They've been modified a bit, I suppose, but they're basically Arco. The Jokers is that. Whatever that is. <laughs> it's supposed to reflect the back design. It looks a little bit underwhelming again. And the back design, well, at least it's a two-way design. It's supposed to have thin borders, a modern design with an aesthetic fans. The more aesthetic fans and spreads. Simple yet sophisticated. I don't think you can have sophisticated with simple. I just don't think that's how it works. Um, of course, you get the stereotypical point card and double backer. Put it by the USB-C. And there you go. It's a very simple, minimalist kind of back design. How exciting. Um... At least they've breaking down the costs. That's always nice to see where the money is going to, as opposed to some people are like, just give me some money. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> just give me the money. Um, that, it's always good. Most of it's going into shipping, apparently, and printing. They're the two big ones. I can't believe shipping is costing more than printing. And then there's a bunch of miscellaneous costs, whatever that is. It can't be designing because, well, I mean, designing is there. I can't believe designing is that much, considering... There's not much there. <laughs> um, to say we don't really see the back design, like the like this shot of the back design. I mean, you see it there. There's not much going on. But the thing is, I look at it this one here, and it looks like there's a bunch of stars in there. Um, but you don't actually see that in this shot. Or not so much. Maybe a little bit, but I don't know. I guess that's in there. Some stars. Adds a little something. But the Ace of Spades is really underwhelming. Thank you, I'm a super backer. Yay. <laughs> uh, not really excited about that one. Then we got One Man's Dream. Kung Fu and Cards by Melia. Which, incidentally, I don't think Melia is a man. <laughs> it's 54% uh, funded, 39 days to go. Yeah, it looks like it's a kind of a low goal. There's lots of time, so there's a chance it might actually fund. And maybe not. <laughs> that is absolutely horrible. It's a one-way back design. It says Kung Fu across it. And on top of that, it's one way because it's different from one side to the other. It's also a story about love. <laughs> How exciting. Ah, well, the joke is nice. <laughs> I guess. Um... The faces are all custom. Red for hearts and diamonds, blue for the spades and clubs. Obviously, you can see that. The court cards feature uh, all sorts of 
one-way figures doing kung fu, and they are well. The jokers are the same. I'm trying to figure out what these two are here because they are the same. They're repetitive, and actually, these two are very similar. I don't know. Maybe it's just a slightly different pose. You can't really tell. They look the same, unless it's a duplicate. Could be. Um, not really feeling it. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's an interesting theme. The back design really hurts it for me. Produced by Yoha Playing Cards Company Limited on a 310 G German special card street paper. I don't know who they are. I don't know if that's. Is that, uh, what's it called? I can't even think of what the name is. <laughs> WJ. It's not WJPC. That's what I was thinking of. It's, I don't know who they are. I don't know if they're the ones that are doing expert playing cards now in China. A thousand decks being produced. There's a set. Ten pounds. And the early bird. For 15 pounds, you can get the signature of the designer because that's worth so much. <laughs> I don't know why a lot of Kickstarter designers are like, here, are like, here, you pay me five bucks extra, I'll give you my signature. Because that's worth so much. <laughs> you're, you're nobody famous yet, and your signature is worth nothing. <laughs> so I don't know, I just think it's weird some creators do that. I can understand maybe if it's a Jackson Robinson, but this creator. <laughs> moving on, moving on. See what else we got. A normal tarot deck. Gee, okay, that doesn't look normal to me. <laughs> More tarot decks. Walhalla playing cards. This is by the Cardster. I know this one. I, I've uh, found out about it earlier. It is printed by Noir Arts Playing Cards. It's funded. Twenty-three days to go. Personally, I think it should be the more calm Valhalla. Instead of Walhalla. I mean, when, <laughs> but I get it. It makes sense. It's, it's fine. Two decks it looks like. Orange and silver and black and red. Typical uh, Viking font I see. It's all old Norse stuff. There's a Freya deck. Still available on the early bird for 11 bucks. And the Odin deck. It's 25 bucks for a pair. For two deck sleeve at this rate, I'd rather pay the early bird. Well, you'd save one buck basically, I guess. <laughs> uh, exterior and interior foils, embossing, custom seals. Basically, everything you'd want, <laughs> everything you'd expect on a tuck case is metallic inks, deluxe paper stocks on the tuck case, um, completely custom, sipped in protective boxes. Uh, the Odin is the orange silver one, the Freya is the black and red. I'm actually liking what I'm seeing. Hopefully the quality is as good as one of the recent texts I've gotten from the world. I don't remember which one it was, but it was pretty decent quality. Um, very nice tuck cases as usual. Nice number cards, four indexes on them. Uh, different colors suits. Is this supposed to be red for the hearts and orange for the diamonds? Because they're very similar. Which I guess is okay, but that's the court cards. Really. <laughs> they look like cartoons. They look like something Art of Play would put out. And why does it look like this guy has a skateboard? <laughs> I guess it's a musical instrument. Oh, he's a poet. Um, it's interesting, the colorful, very unique. But, I guess I'm expecting something more like what we get from, like, Design Imperia, from Nikolai. Um, <laughs> I guess it's a green color for the clubs. Blue for the spades, or purple for the spades. It's interesting. What's the back design for this one? Oh, I guess that's the back design there. An orange back design with... 
interesting pattern on it. And then the Freya, <sighs> black faces, oh goody, with silver and gold suits. Which just doesn't really feel right with the type of court cards they used. Eh, looks kind of weird. And the backs, both we'll figure they're the same thing except just a different color. You know, I was really feeling this when I saw these really cool looking tuck cases. And they look really nice. With all the foils and everything. And then you get to the cards and it's like... Saturday morning cartoons. I don't know, I just... The type of, of artwork they did for the faces just doesn't really fit with an extravagant tuck case in my opinion. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Moving on. We've got the Crown Jewels by the SDI group. Uh, printed by Carter Mundi this time as opposed to them printing them themselves with Nords or whoever they were printing with before. Um, it is 95% fun at 25 days to do. I think... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to fund. I have a this uh, premonition that's going to fund. <laughs> Feeling that's going to fund the Emerald Green Ice Edition. It's a nice top case, beautiful top case. Um, Ten pounds for one deck. A little bit pricey for me. But I guess, uh, not terrible, I suppose. Court cards. Look like they're completely custom. You get Jolly Jokers. They are completely custom court cards. Very nice. The back design, however, ugh. There's two different versions apparently, or is there? I'm not even sure. There's two decks. There's an art deck and there's a classic deck. You can see, I don't know why they have them winging at us, but you can see the differences in the court cards. Similar, basically the same face, but everything else is kind of different. Yet, they look, you know, very similar. They, uh, the classic deck is just kind of a poker back design, which doesn't fit with the faces again. I mean, if you're going to customize the faces, go all out. Why do you have just this bland poker design for the backs? It's just weird. And then the art deck, I like the back design. It's nice. It's uh, They've done these before with different colors. There was red, blue, and stuff like that, which I didn't get, so I'm not going to get this one. Uh, but I don't like the gold. The gold... I mean, the green and gold would be nice if it was, like, foil, gold foil or metallic inks. I don't see it as metallic inks. And just, I don't know, the, the color just doesn't look good with the green, the gold color. Or maybe it's more like a brown color. I don't know. Uh, beautiful top cases. I think silver and green would have worked better. There you see the blue ones from before. Surprise. Yes, they're going to be put to by Carter Moon Day this time, as opposed to where they were put to before. And here you see the art for the green ones. Uh, the King of Diamond Diva has really long hair, or he's wearing a veil. <laughs> Speaking of veils, <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful artwork on the court cards. I like it. And each seat kind of has their own, uh, kind of from their own place in the world. Now you see the artwork for the other deck. I don't know if you can add on the previous ones. There's a book as well. A gift for backers. If you get two decks or more. Playing cards. Playing pretty playing cards from A to Z. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure backers are just overjoyed by that gift. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just, eh. But I mean, pretty much everyone's going to get it as long as you get two decks. Um, this, by the way, is 17 pounds. That's 27 bucks Canadian. Uh, I think I'll pass. Moving on. I like the faces, the backs. It could use some work, in my opinion. Uh, then you got another one of these. How many times have we seen these? I've lost count. It's been like a million times now, it feels. Bad Girl Baddies 2 poker playing cards. By Michelle Hartso. It is funded 10 hours to go. Who the hell keeps giving her money for more of the same old, same old, all the time? I mean, really, go buy a Playboy or something <laughs> instead. Then we got the Rogue Amphist Purple Point Guards by Jason Wan with a marking system. 
Not a real big fan of him having gone any of his decks. Don't plan on it. And in fact, this is just another one of these. I mean, the back design is nice on this one. Looks pretty nice. Though I don't believe it says he's printing them from what I've seen, what I've heard. He does have them available at wholesale prices as well. I haven't seen anyone wholesaling any of his decks. <laughs> so I don't know who thinks he's going to hold, get wholesale. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know who he's planning to get contact him for that. I haven't seen anyone buying stuff at wholesale from him. I don't think. Uh, 13 bucks for one deck. Very interesting. You get your name in the decks. That's always cool. And there's a cut card. Sticker. I mean, I don't hate the back design. It's a nice, simple kind of a casino back. Borderless. It's uh, marked. The markings are 0 0.3 uh, PT thicker than the regular lines. So there's some other decks, I suppose. Um, there you go. Marking system. Yay. Kings have no marking because, of course. And in the faces, kind of standard. The court cards are standard USB C. They have some extra indexes uh, on all the cards. Kind of a purple color for the, more like a pink, really, for the hearts and diamonds. Hot pink. And yeah, it's okay. I don't dislike it. Never really liked his style of the diamond pips. But I don't dislike it. I don't, however, like the creator that much. Based on past history, uh, only a hundred decks give or take. Oh, this is in a rogue liquid gold, so there's a different color variation marked and everything as well. It's basically the same, same faces. It doesn't have, I, I would assume it's the same faces as it seems the same with four indexes and stuff like that. It doesn't say anything, it doesn't show you anything about the faces, so I assume it's the same except for the colors. And I would not be surprised, I would put money on it, if I was a gambling man, that there's going to be more colors of this in the future on Kickstarter later this year or next year. Because that's just what he does. Um, moving on. And again, it doesn't say who's printing it, I believe I've heard it was NPC, based on, at least that's what he's used in the past. Moving on. Zoo 52. Playing cards. Adorable animal playing cards by Elephant Playing Cards. Funded 15 days to go. I have absolutely no interest in this. To me, this looks like they've taken something that 100%, uh, taken something that I think it was Bokeable did, and they've done it themselves. Uh, I mean, a tuck case with ears on it. That looks like something Bokeable. I think it was Bokeable. It was either Bokeable or TCC. Maybe it was TCC. Uh, it did some time before. How exciting. They get the Wolf and Whiskers deck and the Cliff Paws deck. Meow. <laughs> um, miss my cat. This for the record. And, and, and there you go. <laughs> By the way, 17 bucks Australian. 15 bucks Canadian for one deck. 32 for two. Kind of pricey. Very interesting. Very unique. It's not really my cup of tea. I've seen a lot of court cards here and aces, which are okay. The number cards, no idea. <laughs> no idea what the number cards look like. How many times are they going to sell us the same cards over and over? Ah, there's a number card. So the number cards are thankfully standard. <laughs> it's the court cards that have images and artwork on there, which I don't hate. In, in that case, I'm not a big fan of when every card has artwork on it, for the most part. It depends on the deck. Um, Pop-up ears, yay. And you can actually fold them down, and they don't impact the opening and closing of the deck. So basically, it's like another flap. From the back. Why not? <laughs> um, obviously, it's not used to see producing that. Tuck case, they have been printed on a 310 premium German black core paper card stock. 
and the uh, are being printed by WJPC. The backs, they're not really showing us very well so far. Quality casino, casino quality finish. They're putting a lot of emphasis on the top cases and everything and the cards. They have not really shown us in pictures a clear shot of the back design that I can tell. Okay, there's a, a bit of one here. Not really feeling it. It's a bunch of cats on the back design and dogs on the back design, I guess, is what it is. Not really feeling that either. They're okay, if you like them, by all means. Uh, moving on, Sakura playing cards, Winter Edition by Francis. Garcia, 61% fun, 24 days to go. And the Cherry Blossom theme deck. Winter Cherry Blossom, so it's blue and white. The back design, it says Sakura with a flower on it. And then it's very one way outside of that as well. Not really feeling it. At least the price is okay. Eight bucks on the early bird. US. Twelve bucks for the, for one. Printed by the USB-C. Uh, oh yes, I remember. I, I think we, I have some Sakuras from before. They were much nicer, if I recall correctly. In fact, I need to double check. have anything about the faces. Standard. I like how they put nine of spades and four of hearts underneath. No shit! <laughs> well, there goes the, the there goes my um ad revenue for this video, but I mean like really? Like we didn't know what those were. <laughs> and then you get for the ace of spades, the jokers, the court cards. You don't need to tell us what they are. I think we know what they are, by the way. Standard Arco court cards recolored. How exciting. <laughs> Um, even better, Murphy's Magic is doing wholesale, so I can get them for cheaper if I wanted to, if I really, really wanted to. By the way, these are the original ones. Much better. Much, much better. Mirror image back design in that pink color with the cherry blossom. Also, customized faces. I'll show you right here. I thought so. I mean, I was in the, the faces there, they're not my favorite, 100%, obviously, because you can see there, can't really see it, let's look at this image here, I apologize, um, they're, they're kind of weird, kind of blocky, whatever, and then all, both of the suits are kind of pink, one is light, one is darker, but still, much nicer back design in this winter edition, much better, uh, at least the faces are custom. I don't like this one way design at all. Let's just put it that way. If anything, I might get it later on through Murphy's. We'll see what happens. Then there's Cart Logos by Paolo Di Giovanni. I'm not even going to look at it. 0% fine at 34 days. 1 euro. Pledged. 1 euro, not 1 buck. 1 euro. They are, um, letters. Letters on the faces of the cards for magic. There's other decks that you can get that are like that, that are better, in my opinion. Just from the look of it. And, I mean, it's not going to be fun. Anyways, Mighty Mania. <laughs> Yay. And we've kind of talked about everything else. Nerds for Words, interesting. There's some of the stuff you see on here. Ludwig van Beethoven, Wooden Box, Add-on for Cards by 64 Point Cards. 81% funded, has not funded yet, with 20 days to go. Who knows if that's going to fund or not. Leonard Mand, Solitaire, Double Deck Oracle set by Deluxe Cards, 60% fun at 21 days to go. It's got, you know, point card indexes. Very interesting looking. And obviously it's a Leonard Mand Oracle type deck, 36. It's a set of 36 Leonard Mand cards and 18 Solitaire cards. Come on, you know, I don't look on seeing this one before. We'll have a look at it quickly. Just...
Aha. <laughs> so the index is, is I'm confused. Are these being like are the cards like that or are they just diamond cards? I really don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Aha. Interesting. Interesting faces. Interesting little index. What did the fox say? <laughs> uh, interesting one-way bat design. Not really my cup of tea, but I've noticed people out there who are into that type of stuff, Letterman and Oracles, so if you like it by all means. Don't know who's producing it. There's a decent chance it funds, but there's also a chance it doesn't. Moving on, Bicycle Rainbow V2 by Artisan Point Cards, aka TCC, is what it really is. It is well-funded, 11 days to go. I'll pick that one up later, thank you. <laughs> Juice Joint by Docs Playing Cards is funded 17 days ago. I think they may or may not be sending it my way to review. Not 100%, but we've been in contact. They're also apparently sending me a prototype, I guess, of the next deck. So we'll see if that what happens with that. Emperor Playing Cards by Penguin Magic is now, well, basically it's funded 16 days ago. It just needs a couple more bucks and it'll be funded. Uh, no way it doesn't fund it this way, unless something drastic happens. <laughs> uh, and then there's these Cubix decks made for magicians by Astro Vi. <laughs> Astro 7, I guess it is. 64% funded 24 days ago. Who knows? Who the hell knows if it's actually going to fund? Nah, really don't like them. Oh, good. Magic meatballs. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, why is everyone trying to break Kickstarter? I don't know. The BTS playing card by BT21 Lover, 20% funded, 23 days to go. Who knows if they even have any kind of right to produce a BTS deck? Probably not. Midnight Shuffle, an anonymous playing card by Antoinette, 13% funded, 14 days to go. Highly unlikely it funds, same with the BTS deck. Mers, second edition by Zach Merzadeh, is funded, 13 days to go. Farthings by GLC Card Company is it's 100% funded, 12 days to go. Interesting. Added Jux Point Cards by Matt Fox is funded, 12 days to go. The Friars Delight Letterman, another Letterman deck. <laughs> uh, not looking like that's going to fund. Haven't looked at it. Uh, oh good, more cats. <laughs> uh, Culturae Animalius. Animalis are Point Cards by Jack Brutus Petty. Is funded nine days to go. Not my cup of tea, but it's cool. I'm a twisted, I'm a twisted poker by Board Game Taylor. No one crazy here at all. Is two percent funded nine days to go. And it's not going to fund, absolutely not. Voyager Point Cards by Justin Scott. 70% funded five days to go. I don't see it happening at this rate. Merlin Illuminations by Art Point Cards is well funded four days to go. Something I might, you know, look at picking up later on. Who knows? <laughs> Convolution by Kyle, zero percent funded, twenty six days to go. No chance in hell that one's gonna fund uh, at this rate unless something happens. Mahong Point Cards by Kyle and Friends, nine percent funded, thirty days to go. Just goes to show people do not want to play Mahong with playing cards. <laughs> Sometimes. Things don't work out on playing cards. Singularity playing cards, black and white by Relativity playing cards, 59% funded, four days to go. Doesn't look like it's going to happen at this rate. And that's it for new stuff on Kickstarter or what's going on on Kickstarter. There's a hell of a lot of other stuff to talk about, so let's get on with it. To the orbitbrown.com first at foremast. As they have released their new V7 orbit decks. Can't believe they're on V7. Fortunately, there's only like five more to go. Apparently, there's 12 versions according to images I've seen of people who have opened up the tuck case and it says like one of 12 or whatever of 12 on the, like the bottom flap. There's an interesting little thing they did. For the V7, there's two versions instead of one. Because why not? And they got a wet grow look to them. They also released the uh, Cardistry Con edition on the website, but it sold out like that. Now, apparently, apparently, 
They may have found some extras, go figure, uh, copy of losing as must. They, they may have found some extras at Art of Play, and they may end up on their website. How exciting. But they are currently sold out. I actually don't know much about these ones. I'm just going to avoid those ones altogether. These other ones, the 7th Edition and the V7th Parallel Edition, I'm just going to wait to see of Murphy's Magic Catcher, because I'd rather pay less for them. <laughs> um, and maybe, if I'm lucky, they'll have this one too. This is the, it's 20 bucks for the V1 Cardistricon Edition. And it's a very nice map design. It looks an awful lot like the map designs on their previous decks, just a different color. There's a thousand printed by the USB-C, basically the same as the previous text they've printed. Nothing too exciting except that instead of 23,000, it was only 1,000. And they're selling for quite a bit on eBay, or at least people are trying to sell them for quite a bit. Not so sure that they were actually selling for that. And then we go to the uh, Orbit V7. Um, it's got a retro look to it, it kind of, I mean, I don't mind it. Like I said, I will pick it up on Murphy's Magic if they get them. Pink and kind of blue colors, very retro looking, which is kind of the idea. The, the going 80s for this edition. Um, makes sense, I mean, it's about orbit, it's about space, and that's when there was a lot of space travel going on. More or less the same back design, but with that retro kind of an 80s look. There's your Ace of Spades. And yeah, it says there's 20,000 printed. So yeah, Murphy's Magic will have them. <laughs> and then the parallel edition looks like that. Interesting tuck case. 15 bucks for this one. Basically what happened is while they were designing this deck... Daniel Snyder, who designed it, sold uh, Chris Brown the inside of the V7 Tuckies. And he was blown away about how 80s it looked. And his wife said, well, that, his wife Holly said, that should be its own deck. And he's thought about it and decided, yeah. <laughs> so this is the parallel edition. This is what's supposed to be on the inside of the V7 Tuckies. Really don't know why, but. And uh, basically. It's uh, another 80s type uh, back design. It says Orbit and all the back, uh, all four quarters. Not really a fan of that. Seems overkill to have that much writing on it, especially, especially in all four corners and just just Orbit, Orbit, Orbit. But whatever. There's 5,000 of these printed. They will be available. I'm sure on Murphy's Magic. It's a one-way design, traditionally cut. Yada yada yada. <laughs> Basically, same old, same old as you'd expect from them. I guess I'll be, you know, getting these later on. Oh, look at that. It's a dog on a bike. He looks uncomfortable. <laughs> I imagine he would be uncomfortable on a bike with a helmet on his head. Moving on. What else? By the way, the website is now apparently orbit.af. Oh, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. I see that. Uh, Look up what this website is for this next one. Just bear with me one second if I can find it. Damn it, I want another email. <laughs> um, okay, that's what I figured. Twistedartistry.com. Uh, Terry is the, Terry A, right there it says. He's built custom gimmicks and more for companies like 311, and he's decided to launch his own content now, his own deck. It's available right now for pre-order, Twisted Artistry First Edition Playing Cards. Only 222 available for pre-order at 12 bucks each. And as you tuck is the back design, I think it's... Ah, well, that doesn't make much of a difference. It's a nice, borderless, you know, full bleed design. And there's your Ace of Spades, kind of that's the back design. Uh, as far as I can tell, that's it. The faces are probably standard. It's been designed by Daniel Snyder. 
uh, or at least he was involved with that. The Jokers, he decided to call the Kicker instead of a Joker. And Duplicate King of Spades, which is him. He's the Duplicate King of Spades, or he is the King of Spades. And he has a trick he's going to be showing on his channel. We'll check it out, Terry Addy. Uh, also terryaddy.com. You can check that out. Uh, you can also find the deck on his website. If you're not picking it up directly from Murphy's Magic. I wish I'd seen that earlier because then I would have saved a few bucks more than likely. Uh, or whatever. It's fine. It's a nice bat design. I'm more than happy to support this guy. Go check it out. Get it on the pre-order. Well, you can. Moving on. What else do we have? Oh, yes. Let's go to Bokobo. Uh, they have another new Japan, uh, Japan bicycle deck available on their website while supplies are there. And it is, well, they, they had the bicycle doll up playing cards, as you can see, review of on my channel, as well as the Dragon Ball Z. Bicycle Naruto, I've got on the way from a different website, Play Asia. Um, same people as the Dragon Ball Z, no doubt. But this is the other one, it's the Bicycle Astronaut Snoopy. Deck of cards, 11 bucks US, very good price, considering somebody wanted to sell me it. Well, there's, there's, there's a, um, eBay seller that I've done some business with for a lot of these Japanese decks. And he, first he was offering to me for 22 bucks. Then he got back to me and said, ah, they were sold out at that price. I can only get them for a different price, so now it's going to be like 39 bucks or something. And I'm like, eh, no, you offered them to me for 22 bucks. That's what I'll pay if you want to sell to me. We ended up, I ended up just getting a different deck. Let's hope it will be here soon. Uh... But then this one showed up at Bokeable, so I'm kind of glad I didn't get it. And I told him about it, and uh, he said it was a good deal. There you go, standard faces with a border, yay. And in the back, it's Snoopy <laughs> on the moon. Nice, colorful tuck case. I don't know about the number cards. Traditionally, his next one is a Joker, one of them. It's him and his buddies are hunting. Oh, I like how that guy's got a box. For a helmet, it's <laughs> hilarious. Um, it's Peanut Friends and there's the Dog Snoopy himself selling moon rocks on the moon. And then the other Joker, there's one Joker that's completely standard, there's three Jokers, and then there's what else? And yeah, that's why I figured the number cards, at least some of them, are modified with Peanut's characters. There you go. So we'll check it out. Uh, if you're going to get it, if you're looking to get it, or some of these other decks, go to Bokobo. They've got four different Japanese uh, bis Japanese bicycle deck releases, as you can see. And actually, the Naruto one, I thought it said it was sold out. I guess not. No, that's a different one. Um, they're there, and good prices. Don't overpay for them on eBay. You know, do your searching. Moving on, very quickly. Actually, I want to see... BicycleCards.com. I'm waiting for them to release their Magic Live decks, which I've been told probably this week sometime. So I'm keeping my eye on them. So far, nothing. From what I understand, the mini decks they had a Magic Live are just a foil tuck case with standard mini decks inside. And then their prototypes are a little bit nicer. Some customization to their faces, but not available yet. Then they go off to Riffle Suffle, as they have released yet another deck. What is that, a dozen this summer? And there it is, Skateboard V2, a.k.a. Red. It is just the Red version of the Skateboard Point Cards. Recently they released Serious B V2. Um, when you sign up, you get early access to the decks and private launches, so that's always cool. Um, so there it is. Come on, open it up. I believe it's the same back design as the previous ones, or at least it's very similar if it's not the same. Um, the skateboards. 
Seven ninety five right now. It's a good price. Although I could have got them at Murphy's Magic as well, because of course they could. But um, not too much of a difference. I don't think in the price. Some difference, obviously. I'm sure, but actually not much. I, I don't recall. There is a four way marking system and a one way secret one way design. Double face calf card. B stock thin crust casino quality. Um. Completely custom fun faces. So there's that. Moving on, what else do we have here to talk about? Oh, yes. Uh, international. Magic.com, which is a magic shop from the UK. By the way, I saw something recently. There was a magic shop, and I think it was in France that burned down. It's unfortunate. Hopefully, they get it back together. Um, the deck I saw here, just search out. It's a leveret playing cards or leveret available in red and blue. I actually saw this thanks to. It being added to uh, Portfolio 52, so it's always good to, to you know check out Portfolio 52, see what's new. That's how you find new stuff as well. Uh, designed by magic historian Dr. Will Houston. Classic look and feel, aimed at magicians, take pride in the card work. Printed by Expert Point Card Company, exclusively for international magic in London. And designed by Dr. Will Houston. I'm not really familiar with him. He's a close-up and expert card magic as the editor of the Magic Circular and is an established consultant and teacher of magic. He actually has a PhD in the history of magic. I didn't of magical education. I didn't know that was a thing, magical education. Ten percent of the sales of this deck will go to the Breath Foundation, Breath Magic which is a uh, funded program it uses magic as a form of therapy for patient groups. So it's for a good cause. Go buy it. Nice decks for a good cause. Printed by expert playing cards. Classic looking faces. Beautiful back design. I can't... I'll have to see if I can find a better image. In fact, I know I can. <laughs> um, at Portfolio 52. And we'll find something else that's new. <laughs> um... <clears throat> In fact, I know you will. Well, actually, there you go. There's one that's I haven't seen yet. Crop circle. Well, thank you. Uh, Leveret. As far as I can tell, the standard faces which would make sense. They're made for magicians. But you see the back design. It's very nice. Classic looking. Mirror image. Uh, Leveret 1876, it says. There's the red one. I like it. And uh, I look forward to checking them out. Moving on, what else do we have? Oh yes. Um we have um let's go to the United Christs. A couple of things there we can talk about. And let's see. First of all, yet more new Fontaines. The Fontaine Guess Sport. To me, it's starting to turn into uh, vomit <laughs> at this point in time. It's bleh. Just, it's crap, in my opinion. Just not my cup of tea. Thankfully, we'll save some money. I guess I don't save money because I won't be buying them. Like, I did not buy the Fontaine Futures because they were crap. And now we got these. Fontaine Guess Sport. I think there was another previous Guess one as well. Available at a pop-up event in Los Angeles. What the hell is with all these pop-up events? Like, geez. Just sell them. On your website, whatever. Um, two different ones. A green one and a black one, I guess. Oh, look at that. It's a bunch of copy and paste, because that's what Zach Mueller knows how to do, is copy and pasting stuff. That's all he does, copy and pasting, designing that crap. 
probably find it all on Google. And, and then there's this one with a bunch of cyclists on the back design. And on the Ace of Spades. How exciting. <laughs> Makes my stomach turn. I agree. Uh, moving on. Yeah, I want to see something here. Yeah, the best deal. Point cards, I have those as a review on my channel. Beautiful cards, in my opinion. Well done, worth checking out. And this is coming to Kickstarter soon, no idea when. They're on Instagram, Endless Time Cards. It's the Endless Time Point Cards, nice blue color. Uh, I like the whole infinity thing going on on the top case. And on the backs of the box, uh, the, the back of the top case also some infinity symbols and an hourglass. And it says Fugit Arapabilia Tempus. And it's pretty cool. The Jokers, you got the same type of thing. Not usually a big fan of that, but it's okay. The faces, haven't seen anything, but the pips will be custom and symbolical to this deck. And the courts are slightly tweaked. There's going to be selling more, apparently, tomorrow. So I like it. It's cool. Actually, let me see if there's anything on Instagram related to that. A couple more things to look at very quickly. Oh boy. Um, now you see the pips here. Looks pretty nice. I look forward to checking this one out. I'm definitely interested in that. Printed by Carter Mundi Slimline Stock B9 Finis, signed in Estonia. Uh, very quickly, a couple of things to mention, and I also want to go here to one magic. So, for third way, uh, there's a new release. Sort of. I mean, it's a new release. It's not really a new deck. And same with Stockholm 17. Not really a new release. Sorry about that. This video is taking longer than I expected or anticipated. And I had to go turn off the oven. Um, Stockholm 17. No, nah, it's not what I wanted to see. But. <laughs> uh. Come on, hurry up. Uh, hurry up. So we're done with United Cards, I believe. So I can turn that off. Um, third way. Let's go with third way first and foremost. Hopefully it will load up. Um, wow. <laughs> so much going on here. Let's just try to go by series, please. Thank you. There it is, never mind. The Red Invictus Betrayers deck. Which I will not be getting. Uh, but if he wants to send it my way, by all means. <laughs> um, he initially, there was 220 of these produced, I believe. Super limited. 265 total. They launched these at 49 bucks each for the first 100 decks. Now the last 120. He's restocked another 120 at 59 bucks each. And so that means there's still another 45 after that. Who knows how much those are going to be. Gold gilding. Gold foil on the backs. Metallic inks on the fronts. Premium paper. Printed by Carter Munday. Um, what this is, is the Invictus. It's just the same card as the Invictus, as you can see. I'm not sure if the Invictus was gilded or not. These are. I don't think that they were, but it's the same cards, maybe they're just gilded, and uh, in a red tuck case, for a lot of money, <laughs> so no thank you. <laughs> I don't have to pass on these ones. You do, if you pledge for a box on Kickstarter, you will get 
a uh, one of these for free so that's probably where the other 45 are going um and then i want to go to stockholm 17 maybe <laughs> uh maybe we just go to raven magic instead oh. Is there something here that I wanted to show you? Again, it's not really new. I might have shown it to you before, but I figured since we're looking at that red Invictus, we might as well look at this one. Or not. <laughs> uh, let's just look at it here. It is the Summer Ale playing cards there it is she had it on her youtube back in may so it's not exactly new um there it is stockholm 17. still available whole 10 of them left 50 bucks are you out of your mind i know it's a limited edition but seriously it's just this deck the uh Soul decks, the Raven Soul decks. They had 231 of them that were naked. They were overproduced and there was not enough tuck boxes for them. So they produced a new tuck box and they're selling them for 50 bucks each because it's a limited edition. No, thank you. I'll stick with the ones I already got that were a lot less money and are exactly the same thing except. Not in this top case. <laughs> um, and so yeah, I'm not sure if shipping is included. Whatever. Um, moving along. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you on bomb magic, if I can, <laughs> I should be able to. Hopefully my order went through. This is something that's not available on their website. It's processing, so goody. We'll see what happens. <laughs> this is not uh, the credit card that I have on file. It's actually correct. It's the Corona Mystery Set, if I can actually mm, find it. This is annoying me just a little bit. It's not on their website. You have to have gotten an email like I did. See, I see it's not here. Let me just double check again. I apologize. Oh, I have a download. Yay. Hmm, come on. This video is already long enough as it is, and I'm still not done. <laughs> um, can I reorder it? Doesn't allow me. Alright, so I had a way, you know, to, to get back to the email I received from them. The Corona Mystery Set, so far one has been sold. Oh good, I'm the only customer apparently. There's 11 in stock, not very many. Um, let's just see if I can zoom in here. So there you see a, uh, a back design, it's a sketch, obviously. Oh, it looks kind of like another deck, to some extent. Actually, it looks a little bit like the uh, Raven decks, <laughs> incidentally. Just a little bit. Uh, Corona, very nice. You see some sketches. And there is, there you see a tuck case, very nice foil. Looks like a uh, Fury 11 deck. <laughs> Uh, interesting ace of spades. You're not seeing a whole lot. It's mystery, obviously. Mystery. But, 21 bucks US, you get, they're not just selling you a deck, they're also selling the stories behind the deck and the working materials. 
Um, but it's not just a deck. It's also a prototype. Original cold foil tuck case in white. Final adjusted prototype deck in black. And cold foil color testing cards. Special promotion cards with discount code. I already got some of those. Shit, I forgot to use them. <laughs> um, shit. I'm trying to save some money. Darn it. Um, hand drawn sketch doesn't be included. Good English. It's just a presentation of the mystery deck until it's real public. So, okay. Uh, you know, I guess I'll, I'll wait and see what that is. What it all is. What it all is. <laughs> um, what else do we have here? A couple things. Talk about that, that, and that. Let's just go to, uh, playingcarddecks.com. Will, I apologize. Haven't placed many orders recently because I just Easy go to Murphy's Magic and save some money. <laughs> uh, but I did place an order uh, the other day. They do have the Skateboard V2. They have the 8 deck set of the Planets, Spirit 2, Phoenix Larger Index decks. If you haven't gotten those, they're just, uh, they're a Card Sharks version of those. By the way, I haven't checked Card Sharks in a long time. Uh, some interesting new decks. Some of it sold out. Uh, the most interesting to me, one I got, is the Turtle Club Luxury Playing Cards for the Turtle Club. They are definitely designed by somebody who de does, uh, Fear 11 and Art of Play decks. <laughs> Looking at it, I just don't know exactly who it is, but they're from Florida, U.S., or at least that's where the club is, I suppose. Yes, it's in Florida, Naples, Florida. Uh, tuck case embossed and foiled, as you would expect, custom sealed. They put the front on the back for some reason. Don't know why creators do that. Let's put the front of the tuck case on the back instead of the front. Because, different, I guess. So you see the back on the front, technically. Um, it's a one-way back design. I thought it was mirror image initially. It's a one-way, just because of the turtle logo on the front, or on, on the back design there. And you get a turtle, Joker, interesting, kind of goofy. Some informational cards, and there's the Ace of Spades, nice custom. And that's it. That's all the showing us. The faces, I imagine, I assume, are going to be completely standard, like most Fear 11 decks. <laughs> but uh, gold printed inks, gold foil and embossing on the tuck case, custom seal, custom Ace of Spades and Joker. No custom court cards that it says. Premium linen stock but to buy USB-C. No expense has been spared, except the expense of printing custom court cards <laughs> and custom pips. So, yes, some expense has been spared, I would say. Moving on, finally, to Murphy's Magic. Can't recall if there's anything really new here. Well, there's one thing I wanted to mention, though. <sighs> um, by the way, uh, thank you to Sydney at Murphy's, Murphy's Magic for allowing me to know that there was a flash sale going on, and I picked up, I picked up a Jackson Robinson deck for like four bucks, <laughs> is what I picked up. But I have the Bicycle uh, Limited Edition Deluxe deck from Elite Playing Cards, 15 in prototype from Playing Card decks, which I have not gotten. Maybe, just maybe it's included in my package, I'm not sure, with that one from uh, Playing Card Decks, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see, I don't know. Also, the Pocono Modern Decks, interesting to see, those have sewn up after being on Kickstarter like three years ago. <laughs> they are now here, as well as the Playing Arts most recent decks, BCA Superstar, and the Tulips, which... I knew it would show up here eventually, that's why I didn't get them on Kickstarter. And, and then there's this. A new bicycle yellow rider back by US Playing Cards, it says. It doesn't say that they're by Defata, nor would they necessarily have a Defata deck. Um, and what I'm seeing here is a yellow, uh, yellow hearts. 
I'm pretty sure the ones I've gotten previously did not have yellow for the hearts and diamonds, which this appears to show. I don't know how new this is, if it's 100% new, but for like two bucks, I'm gonna get them. <laughs> Why not? Blank face uh, card and a double backer. And put by USB C. And this is what I. It was the Intagra that I got in red. I also got the blue one. I did not get the black one, just not feeling that one. Uh, as you can see, the retail price $21.95. That ain't what I paid. <laughs> Um, what did I pay? I can, what was it again? Yeah, I can totally check. For, uh, the, the blue one, I got for thirteen thirty. for a price from twenty one ninety five, And the, the red one was on the flash sale. I got it for four thirty nine. <laughs> That's what I paid. Four thirty nine for this deck. Thank you, Murphy's Magic. I appreciate you letting me know about the flash sale. Thank you, Sydney. She likes to let me know about stuff sometimes when there's a sale. I'm not aware of it. There was also previously a BOGO, which I didn't go for. Wow. Anyway, so that's it this week for you in playing cards at the moment. So it's been a very long video as it is. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.